Hi, and welcome to Inky Crafty Fun. Today I'm going to show you how to take some of those rosettes that I showed you how to make in an earlier video and how to put them together um, with the scored edges on a card from another earlier video and we're going to build a little card front. So I've got here some things ready to go. I've got my trusty glue gun heating up right off camera and I've got some circle punches and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my one and a quarter circle punch and I'm just going to punch a piece of cardstock and I'm going to use that as my basis as my backer for the bottom part of the rosette. So <clears throat> I've already done this with my scoring tool and I have it ready to go but it tends to spring back up. So what I like to do is I start with this little circle of cardstock and I take my glue gun and I just put a pretty good amount of hot glue on there and then I get my rosette set the way I like it and I'm just going to put that right down onto that circle and just hold it for a second so that that glue has a chance to really take hold and there you go I've got a back on it we're not going to see that we're going to glue that to our card front but now we've got <clears throat> our first layer of a rosette and now I've got another piece here a smaller rosette that I've created and we're just going to do the same thing we're going to get this guy flattened out the way we want him scrunch it together scrunch it together and if you'd like to see how I did these rosettes using my scoreboard you can always check out my other video punch yourself a a largest circle and do the same same thing. Put some hot glue on there and then make sure you get the right side facing up so I want my yellow to be the inside. I'm going to glue that down there and hold it for a second. Make sure that rosette is spaced out the way I want it. Okay, and now I can layer that rosette right up and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my glue gun, put some glue on that circle, and then I'm going to put that, whoa, I'm going to put that guy right back, come back here you, right on top of the other rosette. Now, this is why I like to use hot glue because you can see that it's not always the stickiest way you want it to be. So now I've got that centered but you can see I got this kind of not so pretty center here and you know what that's not working so that's okay I'm just gonna add more glue that's the wonderful thing about hot glue right just put more on top so let's get that guy stuck in there don't stick your finger in the hot glue okay all right, so now that we've got this really glued on there, I'm going to take my smaller three-quarter circle punch, and I'm going to punch that same, oh no, you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use that same designer series paper that I used before, and I'm going to punch one flower that I like, and that's going to be the center. And actually, I think I have enough glue there to just glue that right in the spot. So now, I've got this cute little rosette, and I've also got this embellished little card front that I started, and I can layer that right onto my card front, and I can actually put that on. I can either glue that right on with some snail adhesive, or I could use a dimensional and give it some pop, which I think I actually kind of like. So. Just peel off a dimensional, stick it right on the back there, and again these are double sided so you have to peel off that little paper layer that's on there and then you just put your little rosette right where you want them. And now I've got a space over here I can stamp a, a greeting or a sentiment and anything that I really would like. So I've got right here my Vintage Verses from Celebration. I got this just a couple of weeks ago. And let's see, I think I've got one in here that says Just Because. 
and I'm going to use that. So I'm going to get my clear block out and I'm just going to stick that onto the clear block and I'm going to do it, I think I'm just going to do that nice sentiment just in our basic black. It's going to be pretty simple, pretty simple little card front. Get some ink on there. And there we go. That is a really cute card front. So, now you've seen how to do the embossing along the bottom, and you've seen how to create these rosettes, and you've seen how to layer them up and attach them to a card front. So, there you go. Thanks so much for joining me today and hop on over to InkyCraftyFun.com for more tips and tricks for your paper craft and scrapbook hobby. Thanks!